Welcome to the first installment of the FAA's Rotorcraft Collective Series. Briefing your passengers is essential for a safe flight. Over the next few minutes, we will review some best practices for pre-flighting passengers. March 2018, a pilot with five passengers loses his engine over the East River in New York. The helicopter failed to stay upright after ditching and the passengers were unable to escape the submerged rotorcraft. It reminds us of the importance of a thorough pre-flight briefing. You need to make people around your helicopter aware of the dangers of the rotors and brief them on how to safely egress a damaged helicopter. As PIC, it's your responsibility. So here are some best practices to make your briefings super effective. Your passengers are most likely not familiar with walking around helicopters. Start your briefing inside the office or FBO and be frank with them about ramp hazards. Question them about their previous experience with helicopters and remind them to never let their guard down, even if they've flown in helicopters before. Tell them about the activities they may see on the ramp. Tell them that they must secure loose items while still in the office and the FBO and pay very close attention to the safety of others, especially children. Once reaching the helicopter, try to allow noise and other disruptions to subside before resuming your passenger brief. This allows passengers to better focus. Tail rotors are lethal. Any item that blows away can be retrieved only by the marshalling personnel. Have them practice with seat belts and other safety equipment, such as retrieving life vest. Show them how to secure luggage and straps from carry-ons so they remain clear of flight controls, critical switches, and fuel shutoff valves. Ask some questions to verify their understanding. Assuring your passengers of their safety will enhance their retention of the information, but emphasize their responsibility to always remain focused on safety while around helicopters. Many pilots survive helicopter accidents while passengers perish. Naturally, pilots are accustomed to egressing rotorcraft and know the dangers of turning rotor blades in other dangerous areas of a helicopter. Passengers are in an unfamiliar environment and emergencies may shock them into frozen inaction. Include the following in your briefings. 1. Stay within the pilot's field of vision while approaching a rotorcraft. Two, never approach the tail boom or move behind the rear door. Three, enter the helicopter as briefed. Four, never throw or drop anything from a helicopter. Secure all personal items. Five, keep safety belts snugly fastened during the entire flight. Six, wait until the rotors have stopped before emergency egress unless there is smoke or fire. Seven, be aware of the fire extinguisher's location, how to remove it, and how to use it. 8. Know the location of life preservers and how to use them and never inflate them until you're clear of the helicopter. 9. Explain headset operations and the sterile cockpit concept. 10. Lastly, after landing, wait for marshalling personnel to open the doors, release safety belts, and to be guided away from the helicopter. Presenting numerous passenger pre-flight briefings will increase your comfort level, but every once in a while, have another pilot listen to your briefing. Many of us forget items once we deliver memorized briefings. Another option is to record yourself giving a briefing for you to review later. A cheat sheet or a checklist is yet another way to keep from forgetting important items when your thoughts are focused on other aspects of the flight. For the FAA safety team and the U.S. helicopter safety team, I'm Randy Rolls.